Hey guys and welcome back to another Dark Fold tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to edit audio within Blender. So the first thing we need to do is change this window to the Video Sequence Editor, or the VSE for short. So select this one here. And now in this new window at the bottom we've got some new tabs. We just want to select Add, and then Movie, and select the movie clip that you want to work with. So in most programs you're probably used to, the audio is actually on the bottom and the video is on the top. In Blender it's the opposite way around. So if you want to use the audio, you make sure you select the top one. So when we scrub through the timeline here, we actually want to see the footage. So we can check this box here, Use Backdrop, and we can see it behind it. Um, I find that a bit, it's a bit annoying that's in the way, so I'm going to just uncheck this. And we're going to split the window here. And then on the bottom here, we can select this checker box icon. And we get a preview here. And the reason why I do this is so we can actually zoom in and out and get a better view of uh, the scene that we're working on. Um, but for this we're just working with the audio. So right click on the audio and then press N to bring up the toolbar. So we've got a few properties here we can uh, change. One of them is the draw waveform so you can actually see the waveform on the audio if you zoom in. But the audio on this is quite low so you won't actually won't be able to see it. So if we just jump to the start and the volume is set at 1, so if we just play this through, you won't be able to hear anything. It's very, very low. So what we can do is just increase the volume. So I'm just going to increase this. And you don't want to do it too much, you want to do it in small amounts. So just increase that. And now if we play this through, yeah, you still can't hear it. So I'm going to jump this up quite a bit. Just pause this. So let's put it up to, say, 30. Now that we play through, we can hear it, it's a lot louder. So straight away, we can increase the volume just from that um, that one setting there. We can also increase the pitch and the duration, and you can increase this to around about 100. But if I play this now, it'll probably be too loud, so I'm just going to drop it back down to 30. So if you want to, uh, also if you want to add like a fade out, so we just say about here, add a, press I to add a keyframe, then jump to the end, and just press E to set the end frame. And let's say zero for the volume, and then press I to add a keyframe. And there you go, you just added a fade out. And you can do the same for, to, for the audio to fade in. And uh, yeah, just loads of little different things you can do. So I hope this little tip helps. And uh, yeah, I hope if you like, I hope this little tip helps. Okay, so make sure the, uh, the resolution is set and the frame rate is set. Also, where you want to save this pro file. I'm going to change this to H.264 since that seems to work fine for me. And then you can also change the um, the coding, the encoding. So you can leave this at AVI, that's fine. And also make sure any other settings that you want to change, you make sure you do that now before you render it out. Also since we've just changed the audio, if we come to encoding and then down at the bottom here, we need to make sure the audio coding or codec is um, yeah, something acceptable. I'm going to choose MP3, and that'll work fine for me. So yeah, when you're happy with all the settings, go to the top and then just press animate. And then you'll animate your uh, your new audio and everything should be fine. So hopefully this uh, tutorial helped. If it did, make sure you give it a like for more videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.